show me the product, we could have done it. Everything all crazy, and so I'm going to get it. And I just want to move on and not regret it. But the past is too dark, it just can't forget it. Securing the nails in the coffin. I don't get this feeling so often. You made me this way, I was off. I'm done now, and this is your caution. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Nitro episode 19. We are here as per usual in Full Sail University and this is Monday Night Nitro. High Octane, High Impact Wrestling content for you here tonight. Hi folks, I'm Josh, I'm your commentator as per usual. You saw it there, you saw the strange scenes taking place in the cold open. You saw Seth Rollins leaving his car, leaving his limo, and going into Christian's office. Christian, who is the general manager of Nitro. I do not know what they're gonna be discussing. I'm sure it has something to do with this Sunday. Folks, we are so close. We are, this is the final stop, the final show until Survivor Series, and that is a fantastic looking card. And as you can see, Seth Rollins, who is the Universal Champion, is going to be going up against the, well, the formerly charismatic enigma, now calling himself the Antichrist of Wrestling, Jeff Hardy. That's for the Universal Championship. That has been such a, a close, a, a personal rivalry between the two. It escalated to a point where two weeks ago, Jeff Hardy hit a twist of hate on Seth's wife, Becky Lynch. A heinous act. And then last week, if you missed last week, I implore you to watch that episode because Seth Rollins confronted Jeff Hardy at the Wyatt compound. And who did he find at the compound other than Jeff Hardy? Well, he found The Fiend. The Fiend making his presence felt properly for the first time here on Nitro, directly speaking to Seth Rollins. But we've got this match, folks. We have got this match. And out now, we have got the women's champion, Bailey. And ladies and gentlemen, this is for the women's championship. Bailey has put the title on the line just days before Survivor Series. Bailey at Survivor Series is going to be going up against the submission machine, Shayna Baszler. The Queen of Spades. That is Shayna Baszler. That is going to be a great matchup. Bailey and Shayna Baszler going up against each other. There's, uh, there's been some close confrontations between the both of them. But we've got this match right now. I didn't even, unfortunately, properly recognize Bailey's contender who is very capable. The women's championship on the line. Your first opening match is a championship match only here on Nitro. Bailey versus Dakota Kai, who's making her debut here tonight. This is sure to be a great matchup. The referee keeps saying they're holding that beautiful women's championship above his head. Dakota Kai on one corner. The women's champion Bailey on the other. Referee Heath Slater rings the bell and we are kicking off things here on Nitro. This is sure to be a fantastic match. Bailey now immediately. Oh! Already, I was gonna say immediately messing about, and then Dakota Kai is not messing about, and now these two women are starting to Oh, they're going to the striking game. There was some forearm shots at the beginning. Now Bailey landing three left punches in a row. And now kick to the midsection. Bailey now in, in charge of the striking game. I rip off the ropes now to Dakota Kai. Ducks underneath. Does Bailey leap? Frogs over the top. Oh, tries to grab Dakota Kai. Doesn't quite get it. Instead, she goes for the Irish whip again. Bouncing off the ropes. Grabs her and just slamming her down face first. Hooks the leg now. One. Oh, and it's only a one point here in the early stages of this match. Not able to grab Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai able to slip out of Bailey's grasp for the first time, but not able to slip out the second time. Now Bailey is in control in the beginnings of this match, of this women's championship match. Now this could be very interesting. It is scheduled to be Bailey against Shayna Baszler this Sunday. However, we could very well end up having Dakota Kai against Shayna Baszler. That would be shocking. Could you imagine if Dakota Kai in her debut here on Nitro was able to defeat the undefeated Bailey? Well, it would certainly, it would certainly raise her stock up a bit. A fair bit, let's just say that. 
as a way to prove to Kai imploring the storms. And we, as I said, we've got a great show for you tonight, folks. We've got an absolute dream match. We have got the Beast Brock Lesnar. Yes, you heard me correctly. The Beast Brock Lesnar going up against Johnny Gargano, one third of the Lionheart faction. And Lionheart's going to be defending their tag team titles this Sunday against the Latino World Order LWO. That team consisting of Rey Mysterio and Andrade Cien Almas. But Johnny Gargano, he's, he's put himself out there tonight. Going up against Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar is also busy this Sunday. He is in an Intercontinental Championship match against Keith Lee. As now to Kota Kai. Picks the leg, goes to the cover. There's one count. Uh, that's only a one count. Yes, you heard me right. Keith Lee, the Intercontinental Champion, putting his title up on the line against the Beast. And what a super kick there by Bailey. Knocking the teeth out of the Kuda Kai. There's a, oh, there is a kick out. There is a kick out. And now Bailey trying to grab the Kuda Kai. Grabs a snap out of the ground, goes to Kuda Kai. Kick to the back though, Bailey able to absorb the impact. Tries that super kick again though to Kuda Kai. Get out of it. Living a step up in Zaguri. It is a great, a great show we have. And also folks, tonight in the main event, we have got the semi-finals, the A-block semi-finals of the Starcade World Cup. It is Big Money Montez Ford up against Adam Cole, leader of the Undisputed of the Year. Watch this now is Bailey delivers an exploder in that corner against Dakota Kai. Hooks the leg now does Bailey. There's a one kind and a two kind, but a kick out from Dakota Kai. Yes, the Starcade World Cup. Whoever wins that tournament for the record, the finals like this Sunday, whoever wins that tournament will be going to Starcade, which is the pay per view after Survivor Series, and taking on the Universal Champion in the main event. Now, who will that be? I do not know. It could be Seth, it could be Jeff. After this Sunday, we will find out all the answers. But yes, Edge has already advanced. He was the B block winner. But we are deciding the A block tonight as Bailey delivering a, a vicious kick to the midsection. Paying the good guy back for those kicks that he was given earlier on. There's a two count. Yes, as I said, the Radar our superstar Edge has already overcome the, the B block. So it's definitely going to be Edge. It's either going to be Edge versus Montez Ford. Big money Montez Ford or Edge versus Adam Cole. Two very exciting matchups. Oh, and another step up in Zaguri there by Dakota Kai, it finds its mark and it's very, very successful indeed, a foreign smash now by Dakota Kai, Irish whip from Bailey off the ropes, ducks underneath now, look at Dakota Kai, so quick and so agile, there's a hurricane run, climbs up now, Dakota Kai scaling to that top rope, she climbs to the top, what's she going for, oh, driving the boots, almost impaling Bailey with that double boot stop, that could be it, new champion though, Okay, talk about your exciting action. That was ugly to look at. It was effective, but it was ugly to look at. Oh my goodness. Anna, oh, oh my, oh, oh my gosh, look at the way Bailey's leg. Oh my, look at the way it's hung up. Oh, that is disgusting. Her leg got caught up in those ropes. And the Kai now goes to the top. The left is a frog splash. Bailey having to use that left. That was not good. Bailey did not need that. She goes for the kick. There's not a lot of impact behind that kick. She needs a roll up now. I think, is she injured? She's going for the roll up here. That's a kick out. Bailey was for going the distance against the Kai. And now Dakota Kai grabs it. And now she's, oh, she's going. She's got to set up. New champion here. One, two. Oh, and a kick out. Now this is bad news for Bailey. That was that the, the landing on that. And now look at this, Dakota Kai. I gotta give a prop. Smartly going for that leg. See, Bailey has to have two mindsets in this match. She has to have two mindsets. She has the mindset of oh potentially losing the women's championship tonight against Dakota Kai. But she also has to realize that even if she wins tonight, she's going up against Shayna Baszler at Survivor Series. Just in it. Oh my goodness. Oh! In the next shoe. Look at that leg snap now by the cool cat. She is targeting that leg. And so Bailey, you saw that. Tried the roll up, trying to end this match quickly. I mean, I, I gotta give Bailey respect as well. That was. It was brave of her to put her title up on the line just days before the pay per view. But Dakota Kai is just 
strangling out that leg. Got the ankle locks. Oh, the ankle lock is fully applied, folks. I think Bailey has a very good chance of tapping out here. The way that leg got caught up on the rope was... It, it, I don't think that was Kai's intention, but it worked. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. It did work, and she is definitely going after the the leg now, the knee, whatever, whatever area it is. It's back by Bailey. Once again, going for the roll-up. She's trying to end this match. Look at that bridge now. There's a one. There's a two now. Is that going to be it? No. She's trying to retain, but she's also... She doesn't want to risk injury. Is Bailey actually going to be able to survive this match? Oh, a single leg drop kick there now by Dakota Kai. I honestly, I was feeling confident in Bailey's ability to, to retain the title, but after watching that, I'm not sure. And Dakota Kai is firmly in control now. What is this? Dakota Kai, like a missile charging through those ropes. The heat seeking missile diving through that bottom rope. And now look at this Dakota Kai once again going for that leg. Even if Bailey wins this match, which I don't know if she will now, even if she does, that leg, you bet Shayna Baszler's gonna be going for that leg on Sunday after seeing that. Oh, that was that was not good. That was the last thing Bailey could have needed. This is what, as I say, it's brave of Bailey to do this as a kick to the back now, but it's not smart. I I know she wants to prove she's a fighting champion. But this is just, oh wait, kicked it, got Carol Cracker, new champion, no, into the changing tide. One, two, out of nowhere, Bailey escapes with her women's championship. That was, I'm sure, too close for comfort for Bailey, and now she's got a hindrance. She is still the women's champion tonight, but will she be the women's champion on Sunday, folks? She has got a new weakness and it is that leg. Dakota Kai has started the work on it tonight and you can bet and believe that Shayna Baszler is going to be continuing the work on it this Sunday. But a very good victory, a very momentous building victory for Bailey as she now charges into Survivor Series with that title still above her head. However, how long is she going to be able to hold that title without her legs given out from underneath? And Shayna Baszler now coming out to the top of the stage and she is happy she knows the weakness and she blows her a kiss we've got Keith Lee now Some tough words there to Brock Lesnar from the Intercontinental Champion Keith Lee. And as you can see, Bo Dallas is out. However, Bo Dallas, unfortunately, is not the main. He's not the main focus of this match. It is this man. The tribal chief, it seems, is up on the screen. The leader of the nation of domination, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns has got his own situation to deal with here at Survivor Series. So you see, as I've said, Roman Reigns is the leader of the Nation of Domination. However, the Nation of Domination, especially in the past month, has basically self-imploded in on itself. Roman Reigns, it was on a complete losing streak. The Nation of Domination were not getting featured at all. At the start of this, of this series, the Nation of Domination consisted of Roman Reigns, Bobby Lashley, Jose Valenzuela, the former No Way Jose, 
and Mark Henry. However, since the start of the series, Mark Henry has left the group. He did, he just left. He, he didn't offer a form of statement. He just heard from backstage that Mark Henry wants nothing to do with this iteration of the Nation of Domination. Jose Valenzuela, the No Way, former No Way Jose, who rebranded himself for this nation. It's just not been good for him. Bobby Lashley, also a very talented member of the Nation of Domination, has barely gotten featured. And the guy who has got featured, Roman Reigns, well, it's not been good. It's not been good. The Nation of Domination imploding in on itself. So it is meant to be Roman Reigns against Bobby Lashley this Sunday. And I do say meant to be, well, because I don't know the condition of Bobby Lashley. But we've got this match. Bo Dallas against Roman Reigns. And now look at this. Oh my goodness. Roman catching Bo Dallas immediately in this Samoan draw. Roman Reigns immediately in control. As I said, it's meant to be Bobby Lashley. However, Roman has targeted Lashley. Targeted Lashley. Targeted Jose Valenzuela. What is this? Crucifix. Powerball. Now, beautiful move by Roman. He has targeted Lashley. He has targeted Valenzuela. The two remaining members of the nation. He is looking to destroy the nation from within. And Roman Reigns is not looking to stick around. He's not getting paid by the R. But Bo Dallas is getting paid with a spear. Almost. Oh, cutting the body in half there, did Roman. But he's not done. What is this? Roman's not done. He, wait, he grabs him. He, wait, Roman Reigns with a guillotine choke now on Bo Dallas. And Dallas is tapping out. He would need to. Instead of just going for the pin off the submission, off the, off the spear, excuse me, he goes for the submission. I, I've never seen Roman Reigns utilize a guillotine choke before, but I think Roman has definitely sent a message to to Bobby Lashley. Even if Bobby Lashley's even able to compete. Oh my goodness, no, hold on a second. Roman's not done. I don't know if Lashley's able to compete this Sunday, but Roman now, he's going to make sure Bo Dallas isn't competing anytime soon. There's no need for this. There is no need for this, Roman. He's in the corner. He's looking for another spear. Bo Dallas, don't turn around. Don't turn around. And another spear now. Destroying Bo Dallas. Hold on a sec. Wait. Hold on a second. What's the... Ladies and gentlemen, I do, I, I do not know what to make of that. I do not know what to make of what I've just heard from Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley is out of this Sunday. However, there is apparently a new candidate for the leadership of the Nation of Domination. There is someone who is looking to take over Roman's leadership. And it seems as if they're backed by Lashley and probably Valenzuela with the way Roman was treating him. That is very exciting 
I don't know what to make. I, I think we'll find out on Sunday who this mystery man is meant to be. Tune in for that. But right now, folks, we've got a dream match. We have got Johnny wrestling himself with the newly redesigned tag team titles because the other ones look like absolute cack. We've got Johnny Gargano who will be defending the tag team titles this Sunday against LWO, the Tina World Order, going up against this man, the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Here comes the pain, Brock Lesnar. Accompanied by the returning Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman returning to the side of Brock Lesnar. Lesnar had, Lesnar had to speak for himself these past couple of weeks. Why was Heyman not able to be with Lesnar? Well, because Keith Lee landed a spirit bomb on Paul Heyman during the Hammerstein Ballroom special mini pay-per-view event that we had on Lesnar. He was incensed at that, as you can imagine. And so this, this rivalry has developed between the both of them. Strange to see Lesnar not going for the top title. I know the Intercontinental Championship is very well respected. I'm not denying that. But it is strange. Firstly, seeing Brock Lesnar actually show up to work this much. He is on a two-month full-time contract. So he is competing on Nitros. And this has been his first month. He's got one month left after Survivor Series. Do not know how he'll make use of that. But it's also strange seeing him go for the Intercontinental Championship. That is to be certain. But now this dream match. It is the ultimate underdog. It is David versus Goliath to the truest extent. Johnny Gargano against Brock Lesnar. And it's stuck up in Zagari by Gargano. I think he realizes he can't, he can't allow Brock Lesnar to get going. He has to bring the offense immediately. And he is doing that. Gargano accompanied by his Lionheart. Oh, stable mates. Daniel Bryan and Sami Zayn are now, look at this. Oh no, Heyman, already making, already getting involved. German suplex, look at that. Oh, he gets out of it though. Gargano gets out of it. And a spinning forearm smash. And a drop kick, he's trying to foul the base. He's trying to dine him. There's another Enziguri now right to the face. And another Enziguri. Lesnar is still on his feet. And a super kick now. Lesnar is up against the ropes. Gargano with a clothesline over the top rope. Johnny Gargano is feeling the momentum. He climbs to the top now. He climbs to the top. He is going up to the high risk district and he lands a fist drop. Paul Heyman now standing with Lesnar and he's picking Lesnar up, trying to get him up to his feet. And Gargano jumps off the top rope, delivering a drop kick to Brock Lesnar. And now Heyman trying to grab him. Maybe go for the disqualification. And now look at this, he just throws Heyman. Throws him into the wolves, it seems, to his own faction. And Gargano now throwing Lesnar. This is unbelievable, Gargano. I mean, it's a sight of viciousness of Johnny Gargano. He, but it has to be done. The viciousness always gets brought out when Brock Lesnar is wrestling. And Gargano realizes the absolute... Oh, look at that elbow drop to the back now. He knows the position that he's in. And once again, Heyman gets involved. Slater better throw him out. Goes for another suplex, and again Gargano is able to get out of it. Lesnar's had no offense in this match so far. But look at this, he's punching him. Gargano is just landing strike after strike, a knife edge chop now, and a second knife edge chop. This is unbelievable. And now Gargano with the fist. The punch after punch after punch after punch after punch, landing number 10 now. Right to the head. I did not expect this match to go this way. In fact, I thought quite the opposite. A step kick to the face. And a second one sends Lesnar down to the knees. Sends him down to his knees. Look at Gargano. Fisherman Buster, he's going for No! Shot to the gut now by Brock Lesnar. Lesnar, look at the almighty strength of Brock Lesnar. No. Oh my gosh, and now Lesnar. Lesnar, oh my gosh, no. Slater, somebody stop this. He's beating him to an inch of his life. Oh my gosh, somebody stop this, please! Please! Oh my gosh, Gargano is busted open! The blood is flowing, oh my goodness! That was, he's, he's still beating on him! Someone stop this, please! Oh my gosh! Gar Gargano's face! Gargano's face is, is a crimson mask! It is completely covered in blood! Clotting with blood! Oh my goodness, that is not a good sight. That is the last thing Lionheart needed. This is, 
This is a legalized murder right now is what this is. That's one of the power bombs. The absolute strength of Brock Lesnar. The absolute viciousness of Brock Lesnar. Triple power bomb now. Slater. He's just, he's power bombing him. Gargano is defenseless here. Lesnar is just destroying him. This is ugly to watch. We shouldn't have to watch this. So, oh my gosh, Lesnar, no. And another power bomb. Please stop this. Oh my, I think that's it. I think Slater's gonna have to make a call here. He's gonna have to make the call. It has to be done. Oh my gosh. Oh no, oh come on, come on now, that's enough. Punching him for, for good measure, as if he needs to punch him for good measure. Look at the strength of Lesnar. Oh, the deadlift power slam now. This is, this is not fun to watch. This is ugly to watch. Less than I. The more deadlifting strength. The deadlift powerbomb. The deadlift set out powerbomb. And I Brock Lesnar. Wants to get his powerbomb. Slater, please stop this. Please stop this. Zane and you can see Brian, is, his hand is in his head. He realizes that he should have stopped Gargano. He should have stopped Gargano! And Slater should stop this match right now! Oh my god, he's just throwing him! He's just throwing him! Is Lesnar sending a message to Keith Lee? I don't know. I think he's sending a message to everyone. Do not mess with Brock Lesnar! Oh my gosh, the knees now! Right there! Oh my goodness! Gargano rolls to the outside. Mercifully, but Lesnar, like like a lion going in for, oh, going in for the kill. Throwing him against that wooden floor. It's not protected out there, folks. It is hard wood. And now look, Lesnar just picks up. He picks up Gargano. And a, oh, Suplex City is in full effect now. And the occupancy is, oh, it's Gargano, who is the only resident in it right now. Less than I. Oh, it's just bragging rights at this point. I, on, I think Brian needs to get a towel and throw it in. He needs to throw in the towel here. For the safety of not only this Sunday, but for the safety of Johnny Gargano's career. Please stop this. Lesnar picking Gargano up again. No. And Suplex City! Come on. Just end it, Lesnar! Six Germans now. He picks him up and he's going for it. He's looking to end it. I wouldn't call it mercy. I'd call it the finish. I'd call it the landing blow. There it is. What the heck? No. That that might be the shock, the most shocking moment of this entire... Gargano just kicked up. That might be the most shocking moment of this entire series so far. Johnny Gargano just kicked out of the F5 and he's making a comeback. Brock, Brock Lesnar just big booted Slater. He couldn't believe it. I can't believe it. No one can believe it. Even though I've just said it's a miracle, is what it is. Gargano is fighting back against Lesnar. Oh my gosh, this is happening. This is happening. Are you kidding me? A frog splash now hooks the leg. That would be it. No, but Slater's knocked out. That, that would be a three kind. I can't believe this. Gargano, are you kidding me? The DIY super kick right to the face of Brock Lesnar. He hooks the leg again. One, two, three. Ref, five, six. Slater, get up. He's up. He's up to his feet now. Gargano gets off the pin. He hooks him in better. He hooks him in deeper. There's a one. There's a two. Come on. No. It was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. Come on, Gargano. You got to do something here. Lesnar, no. Lesnar with the schoolboy. A schoolboy now to Gargano. And he gets a three. Lesnar got scared there. You can tell. He got scared, so he just rolled up Gargano. He just said, I'm ending this. He realized the danger that he actually was in. That was a visual pin. 
If the ref wasn't down, Johnny Gargano would have beaten Brock Lesnar. That is shocking. Lesnar, though, comes out with the victory. And I think Johnny Gargano is going to be needing medical attention.
Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. There is so much to process from what we've just heard. I, where do you, let's start with the Universal Championship because this is your main event of the evening. This is the A Block semi-finals for the Starcade World Cup. Let's start with the Universal Championship. Jeff Hardy and Seth Rollins are gonna be competing in Hell in a Cell this Sunday at Survivor Series. Hell in a Cell on such short notice as well. And in order to get this match, Seth Rollins has said that the, the Nitro after, the Nitro after Survivor Series, if he is still the champion, then he will give a world title match on Nitro. However, if he is not successful, he says he will not be wrestling for the rest of the year until after WrestleMania. That means Seth is gonna miss Starcade, he's gonna miss the Rumble, he's gonna miss the show that hasn't been announced yet that we will be announcing, but he's also gonna miss WrestleMania. So it is all to play for this Sunday. But folks, we've got this match now. And also, sorry, we do have this match now, but let's also not overlook the fact that Johnny Gargano is out of this Sunday. It's gonna be Daniel Bryan and Sami Zayn representing Lionheart. Now, that may, it may not seem like a big deal, but it is a big deal. You see, Daniel Bryan and Johnny Gargano, they have been the tag team. They have been the people holding up the tag team division between themselves. They've been, they've been the ones defending the tag team titles. They have the experience as a tag team, Daniel Bryan and Johnny Gargano. Brian and Zane are an unknown quantity. I do not know how it'll turn out for them. It could be disastrous, it could be great. I do not know. But what I do know is that we've got this match now. We've got the A Block semi-finals. We've got Big Money Montez Ford and Adam Cole Bebe. He'll do it shortly here. I'll let him do it. And as you can very well notice, Big Money Montez Ford and Adam Cole, they are not accompanied by either of their friends or faction members. Montez Ford not accompanied by Angelo Dawkins and Adam Cole not accompanied by Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish or Roderick Strong. Why? Well, because they've been banned from ringside for this match. There will be no shenanigans. There will be a clear winner. Big Money Montez Ford going up against Adam Cole. Now, Mon Montez Ford has had a meteoric rise to superstardom. I know we are wrestlers here, but literally I can see Montez Ford as the next big superstar of this business. And Adam Cole, he wants this tournament. He wants a shot at redemption against Seth Rollins. If you recall to the first episode of Nitro, it was Seth Rollins. It was Adam Cole, the main event. And Seth Rollins squashed Adam Cole within a minute to become Universal Champion. Adam Cole is not, he has not let that victory Leave his mind for a second. That has been his focus. That has been his drive. Driving him to win this tournament. And Montez Ford, he just wants, he wants that Universal Championship. He wants to establish himself as the, it's not the next big thing. The thing right now. He is not the future, he is the present. That is Montez Ford's philosophy anyway. And now we've got both these guys, Adam Cole and Montez Ford now. Bit of chain wrestling to begin this one. A bit of chain wrestling. A bit of, they're trying to psych each other out. Trying to see how the other one ticks. And there's Adam Cole now. He's got Montez Ford down to the ground. He's got him. He's got that arm cinch, but no Montez Ford gets out. A super kick reversed by Montez Ford. Adam Cole comes that quick super kick in the early stages of this man, of this match, excuse me. And now Montez Ford, look at that uppercut now to the head. Adam Cole is rocked in the early stages. Montez Ford, as I said, he has blossomed into his own wrestler. He is primarily known for being part of the Street Profits, part of the tag team, the Street Profits. Look at this now. Adam Cole exits the ring. I think he realizes he's in trouble. And now, <laughs> okay, Montez Ford beckoning Adam Cole into the ring, using his own special way. And he is taunting him. And now look at this, Adam Cole now, playing a bit of mind games of his own, and Montez Ford is getting angry. He's getting upset. Adam Cole exploiting that. Throwing the kitchen sink at Montez Ford. If there's one thing Adam Cole is good at, it is aggravating his opponent. It's playing those mind games and 
for those who think mind games do not matter in wrestling, they, they are probably the most important element of wrestling. When that little seed of doubt starts building into your mind, you start questioning, can I really win this match? That is when you're at your most vulnerable. It is not when you have no energy left because you can always call on the reserves. You can always call on the backup physically, but you can't call on the backup mentally as Adam Cole now with that arm drag to Montez Ford and a kick to the midsection, send him down to the ground. And he goes for the cover line. There's a one count, there's a two count. He hooks the leg, but it is a rope break. Montez Ford showing some great 360 awareness. Able to grab that bottom rope. And now Adam Cole's got the headlock cinched in. Shot now to the chest. Adam Cole's got that headlock. The headlock is in. He chokes him now. And again, with a sledging blow to the chest. Adam Cole firmly in control. He is wrenching that headlock, trying to wear down Montez Ford. A smart strategy to be certain. A very smart strategy to be certain. Both of these guys have had amazing journeys in order to get up to this point. Oh, it's not a super kick though, hold on a second. Oh, and look at that. Look, did you see that? Montez Ford went for a big punch. Adam Cole throwing a quick jab, able to knock him off his game. That was very well done there by Adam Cole, who's got him set up now. And goes for that neck breaker, the dripping neck breaker. Hooks the leg again, Slater's down. There's a one count and a two count. And again, Montez Ford grabbing that bottom rope. As I said, both these guys have had very interesting journeys in order to get to the top of the A block. Adam Cole has beaten Roderick Strong, one of the members of the Undisputed Era, and Shinsuke Nakamura in this tournament. Hold on, Adam Cole now gets the boot this time. And now he hooks the leg this time. I don't know what was going on there for Adam Cole. Maybe he psyched himself a wee bit, I don't know. Maybe he was just looking for some rebound, maybe looking for a bit more force behind that big boot. Maybe he wasn't happy. Has that just been doing in this match as of, the, as of this moment has been very strategic. He's working on that head. He's gonna either be wanting that last shot of that Panama Sunrise, that destroyer. And look at that kick to the back now. As I said, Adam Cole has beaten Roderick Strong and Shinsuke Nakamura in order to get to this point. Montez Ford has beaten Tyler Breeze and AJ Styles in order to get to this point. And obviously that, that match, that win against AJ Styles, in my opinion, was one of the most shocking moments of the entire tournament. The fact that he won against AJ Styles, a well-established veteran AJ Styles, just shows how good Montez Ford really is. And also on the other hand, we've got Edge who's already qualified, who will be facing one of these two men this Sunday. Edge returning for this tournament. He beat Roman Reigns. He beat Bobby Roode. And last week he beat Austin Theory. And that also plays, that reminds me, last week Edge beat Austin Theory. These two guys are facing off this week. These guys are gonna be at a disadvantage against Edge. Whoever wins, because the fact is, these guys are wrestling tonight, and what's this now? Atomic drop into the back suplex. What a combination there by Adam Cole. He hooks the leg. Hold on a second, there's a one, there's a two, and there's a kick through. As I was saying, Edge wrestled last week. He's had time to recover. He's had time to rest up for Survivor Series. However, Adam Cole and Montez Ford, they are, well, they're wrestling tonight, and they do not seem to be holding back. They can't hold back. If, if one of them holds back, the other one will take the opportunity in order to win. And I think that's, oh my goodness, wait, hold on a second. Hold on, I think Montez Ford may have a cut. Yes, I believe he, hold on. Yes, Montez Ford is bleeding. And Adam Cole has seen it, and I believe he is exploiting it. That is, oh, look at that big running face wash into the corner. That big boot to the face, to the head of Montez Ford, hooks the leg, there's a one count by Slater and a two now and a kick out by Montez Ford, that is not going to be good for Montez Ford, it's a small cut for now but as we saw in the last match, as we saw it when Lesnar destroyed Johnny Gargano there, oh look at that clothesline, ducks the clothesline, ducks the punch into the clothesline, excuse me, hooks the leg, there's a leg hooked, there's a two, there's a kick out, we saw the effects that the loss of blood had on Johnny Gargano, it, it, it makes you, it makes you dizzy. It makes you confused. You don't know where you're at. You can, you, there's the loss of eyesight as well. The blood streaming down the eyes. 
So if, if Montez Ford, I feel like the strategy right now is either to wipe the blood off his head, to try and stop the, the blood flowing, to stop the cut, to maybe apply pressure or something like that, or just finish this match quickly. He needs to try and stop Adam Cole, who's firmly in control. Adam Cole dissecting the body parts of Montez Ford. He's went for the legs, he's went for the head, and he's going for the hand right now. Adam Cole is firmly in control. He's figuring out the weaknesses of Montez Ford. Indian Deathlock now, cinched in. Pressure onto that leg, onto that knee as well. Adam Cole, he's working over. He's working over Montez Ford. Ford now with a punch to the head. This is what he needs to do. He needs to get a bit of that momentum. He needs to start firing up and that's what he's doing. He's, he's throwing wildly. The momentum is rushing to him. Look at that knife edge chop now. And now Montez Ford, strike after strike after strike after strike. He's got Adam Cole against the ropes. Montez Ford is outlasting Adam Cole right now. He is, he is withstanding the offense. Look at that running drop kick right to the back of Adam Cole. And now Montez Ford is up. What is this? What a suplex there by Montez Ford, who now hooks the leg against Adam Cole. There's a one count and a two count, but a kick out there from Adam Cole. What a match this is. These two are throwing everything at each other. We've had some, we've had some great matches like that. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, look at this. Adam Cole's up and lives an integrator there. We've had some great matches tonight, like Bailey against Dakota Kai. We've had some sickening matches like Brock Lesnar and Johnny Gargano. We had, we've had some squashes like Roman Reigns and Bo Dallas. However, we have this match and these two are putting on a clinic right now. Adam Cole with that back suplex reminiscent of what Roddy Strong would be doing in his, in his matches. We've seen Roderick Strong employ that back suplex before and obviously as I've mentioned previously, Adam Cole defeated Roderick Strong as part of his journey to get to this point to become, oh, to become, oh, to become the Universal Champion. Well, that's his goal anyway. And I think he may be closer to achieving that goal after that neck breaker, driving the neck. Oh my gosh, what is this now? No, 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 oh. I thought he was going to have a teledrop brain buster. No, Fortnite, Ford with a suplex to the outside, driving the back of Adam Cole. Driving that back on the hardwood. We've got a 20 count here. These guys are able to do damage to each other. Montez Ford, he's scrapping. He's fighting from, he's fighting from underneath. Drives Cole face first into that ring post. Picking him up to a vertical basis to his feet. Gets him in the ring now. Adam Cole. Adam Cole's in a dangerous spot here. He's in a dangerous spot. Goes for the elbow. Montez Ford gonna be wanna be. He's gonna wanna be setting up for that frog splash. Adam Cole now is looking at Ford. And a super kick to the back. There's a bit of whiplash. Hold on. He Slater says to stop. He says to stop. He's 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 getting in the way of Adam Cole. I I think Montez Ford is hurt. I think his head is hurt, and Adam Cole just chucks him to the outside. Hold on a second. Are we about to see what I think I'm about to see? Adam Cole, Adam Cole, you gotta be kidding me, Adam Cole. Whoa, the slingshot suicide dive. Adam Cole risking it all. Adam Cole, oh no, sets him up, Feynman's car into the neck break. I once again going for that neck area. Head and neck of Montez Ford is in absolute tatters right now. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my gosh, no! Oh no, no, no! He just broke the guy's neck! Oh my gosh, he just broke his neck. He, oh my gosh, he just broke his neck. Did you, oh my God, he just spiked him! Spiked him on his head! Out of, Adam Cole, you gotta go, he's gotta finish him off now, no, no, go for the German, Ford able to get out of it somehow. That was sickening, and a spine buster, and a spine buster by Ford, he goes for the cover, there's a one, there's a two now, but it's a kick out from Adam Cole, he climbs to the top now, I don't know, hi Montez Ford's even standing, goes to that splash. Oh, and that's not enough. No, 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 Adam Cole spiking him on his neck. Please stop this. And again, Slater saying to stop this. 
He's saying to give him a bit of space. The blood is now starting to flow. I wouldn't be surprised if Montez Ford is fighting through a concussion right now. No, spiking him on his head with that German. You gotta give. Oh no, no, no. Not this move. Not that move again. Oh my. I don't even know what you call that. That might. That's the end. That is the end of Montez Ford. One, two. Oh, and I somehow kick out. Hi. Hi, the kick out. I don't know. I don't know. And a super kick. Oh, what? Kip up. And he drives him face first. Oh my gosh. That's, what? Okay. Montez Ford just did a spinner, Rooney. But the comeback is on. Montez Ford is feeling it. Hi, is he standing? He is must be fighting through some sort of head and neck injury now, right now. It's the adrenaline. But the thing is about adrenaline is that it can go away and you can crash. And I'm just waiting for the crash right now. But it seems to be working. He's got the, he got the one amigo. The second amigo by Montez Ford. Oh, he goes. Oh, the Venus flytrap, he calls it. That fisherman suplex at the end. Two. And a kick out there from Adam Cole. What a match, what a main event this is. This is how much the Starcade World Cup, it means to these two. It is tooth and nail, and a kick now to the head. The kick to the head. It is just breaking down. Adam Cole's on that top rope now. He is on that top rope, and a suplex now, driving Montez Ford into the ring. Driving him into the ring. Picks him up. No, oh, a jawbreaker, a jawbreaker of some description. I don't know what you call that, but I think, oh no, he gets him in the corner, he's going to be looking for it, the kick to the knee, he goes to the middle rope, Adam Cole going for the Panama Sunrise, and it lands to perfection, say this time, one, two, academic, Adam Cole is the winner of the A block, and Adam Cole will be going up this Sunday at Survivor Series, against the Rated R Superstar Edge. I'll be honest, folks, I am excited for that one. Whatever your opinion of Adam Cole is, you gotta respect the hustle. He has survived his way against three very tough opponents, against Roderick Strong, against Shinsuke Nakamura, and now against Montez Ford. And he is now going to Survivor Series. And going up against this man! We saw this man earlier after the scuffle between Seth and Edge. The small scuffle, he is here, and his opponent, Adam Cole's opponent for this Sunday, is this man, the rated R superstar, Edge. That is gonna be a very, 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 very exciting match. I can already feel the goose bumps developing, folks. The goose bumps are already there. I am excited for that one. He slides under the ring now, Edge. Adam Cole, whoever wins this Sunday will then go on to star to Starcade the month after. They will be the number one contender for the Universal Championship. And they will either be going up against Seth Rollins or Jack Hardy. That is very exciting. It can go either way. Edge has made his way down the ringside. And Slater is there. And Edge is saying, just bring it. He wants a bit of a preview, Adam Cole blowing him a kiss. And Adam Cole leaves the ring. A lion edge, this moment, he says, I'm bringing it this Sunday though. And look at this, he says, I'm gonna be winning. At the end of it all, I'm gonna be the one on top, and you're gonna be the one flat on your back. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna thank you for joining us here tonight. On oh, Nitro, what a great show it was. Adam Cole and Edge. Oh, oh my, wait a second. Jeff Hardy. Once again, attacking it. No, no. And a twist of it. Come on. Jeff Hardy. The Fiend's servant or minion. I don't know what you call it. Slater's now got back into the ring. And a close right now. Did you see the way Ed Edge's neck whiplashed? Off that chair strike, whiplash against the ropes, that twist of hate, and now what is this now? He goes to the top. Jeff Hardy has got Edge. No, 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 not this. Not this, please. For the love of anything, let's get out, come on. 
The twist of hate from the top rope. I was saying Edge had the advantage. Oh no, hold on a sec. No. Oh my gosh, no, please. No, 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 no. He did this to Seth. No, no. Think of the man's wife. Think of the man's kids. No, not the pile driver, the pile driver. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jeff Hardy may have just broken Edge's neck. He may have just broken Edge's neck. And it, and I, what, why? And I, folks, the Universal Champion, he's seen enough. The Universal Champion, the King Slayer, the Lion of Nitro, Seth Rollins. He is in the red and he is making a beeline for that scumbag Jeff Hardy. He may have just ended a man's career. And Seth Rollins, he takes him down. He's Slater ain't breaking this one up. He is sick of being attacked by Jeff Hardy. And Heath Slater's just letting this roll on. It is broken down out here on Nitro. It, everything is broken down. Adam Cole had the smart decision of leaving. Edge has been whisked away now. He's been whisked away through the crowd. I, I hope he's being attended to. Jeff Hardy lay into the scumbag. He is laying in punch after punch. After everything, after every heinous act that Jeff Hardy has done. After landing the twist of hate on his wife. After the insults, the attacks, week in and week out. Seth Rollins has had enough. He is fed up. And right now he is laying the smack down on this absolute dog known as Jeff Hardy. Seth Rollins at the top. Look at the top rope moonsault now. Seth Rollins is it. Hold on a second, I'm hearing the stuff going on backstage. You can see it there. There's bras breaking out everywhere near a nitro. Chaos reigns. Keith Lee and Brock Lesnar having a scuffle backstage in the parking lot. The slaps in the face now. And wait, there's also Shayna Baszler attacks <sighs> Bailey, attacking the women's champion, going for that leg, the injured leg. She's targeting it with a bullseye. And wait, hold, wait, Seth Rollins here. Seth Rollins looking for the curb stomp. 